Honestly, I'm just going to say it. I'm tired of protective hairstyle. No one ever makes me feel way. Honestly, I'm tired of it. Sometimes I just want my hair out. I just want to show off my lens, all the lenses that I've been working for. I just want to show my hair out. Like, I want my natural hair out. I'm being treating my hair well i've been taking care of my hair my hair is doing well my length is there my hair is curled my curls are looking nice what else can a girl want i just want my hair to be outside so yeah this video is mainly for people that are tired of protective hairstyles and in between that that short period of time that your hair is not a protective hairstyles i'm going to be giving to you some cute hairstyles that you can try out and also how to prevent breakage from doing those hairstyles because i know some people don't like protective hairstyles they don't like braids they don't like extensions like me i do not i do not like extensions at all so i'm going to give you like cute alternative hairstyles and also if you're new to my channel i do a lot of protective hairstyles because i have fine hair so i do not like putting extensions on my hair so i found alternative cute ways to do your hairstyles and also keep your hair protected because we are all about length on this channel we're all about healthy hair length and how to take care of your natural hair so please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video leave a comment let me know what you think and yeah let's get straight into it so the first hairstyle i'm going to talk about that you can do in between those your long-term protective hairstyles you can try slick bags i know people um know slick bags slick bags are pretty old like everybody trust me everybody has done slick bag at one point in their hair but they can be very harmful to your hair if you don't incorrectly because i know someone that always put their hair slick bags and over time they start seeing a lot of hair loss and balding at that particular spot so if you want to put slick bags on your hair try to alternate it whether you're putting on a high ponytail a middle bun or a low bun just try to switch it up and alternate it and do not make it tight i know we want that snatched type of look because honestly slick bags they give you an automatic facelift but do not do that don't make it super tight there's a way to make your stick back look very sleek especially since you have natural hair your hair tends to be puffy and you tend to add more tension to your hair so you do not want to break that hair because you want to keep hair style that's one thing there are ways to get your stick back sleek without having to destroy your hair so the first thing i'm going to say is that always make sure to do it in sections so i do my slick bags in two sections i pat my hair into like two like this i pat my hair then i tie in the back first then i take in this side then slick it back then take in this side and slick it back then after doing that i always go in with a scarf to tighten it to make sure it stays flat on my hair so that's one way i'm able to get a perfect slick back and also when you're doing your slick back one thing i would say is that try to avoid using gels i know people need the gel to make sure their hair is slick and all of that but one hack i'm going to give you is that if you use castor oil it's a thick oil so it's going to automatically um weigh down on your hair so it's going to make it lie down flat and when you put in your scarf trust me your hair is going to going to sleep so you don't need to do all that too much tension and also try to alternate it from the position of your bun whether you put it in a high bun a middle bun or a low bun that way it helps your hair to breathe and not so much tension on that particular spot so that's one hairstyle i can give you to do in between your long-term protective hairstyle next thing i'm going to talk about is twist out and braid out because mainly i use braids or like sometimes twist to grow my hair so i'll say that doing a braid out or a twist out is one way like one cute hairstyles you can hairstyle you can try when you're trying to when you're taking that break from a your long-term protective hairstyle so one way i'll say for you to take care of it because i always do like braid out twist out that's something i always do immediately like i'm done with my long-term protective hairstyle i like to allow my hair to breathe and i usually do twist out and braid out and you need to be very careful when doing this because you can easily um get um friction like if you're if the length of your hair is on your shoulder your hair can easily rub off on like your 
your clothing material which can cause like dry can dry out your ends and can lead to like single strand knots so one way i'm able to prevent that is keeping my hair away from my face most times when i put my hair in like a braid out or twist out i try to pack it up like do a high puff or if i want it down i make sure that i'm wearing like something not cutting type of material like something polyester type of silky material to just prevent that tension and also when i'm going to bed i do not just tie my hair in a scarf and go to bed i make sure to twist out twist my hair if i was in a twist i do my twist back if i was in a braid i break my hair back that when doing that method can help helps your braid out to last longer like it helps the curls to remain defined for that period you want it and also it helps to prevent your hair from matting up and getting tangled in your bonnet because you're using a bonnet which is awesome like that's good kudos for you for using your bonnet but if you're just wearing your bonnet and your hair can tangle and get matted up in that and when you wake up the next morning you just have to figure out how to tangle that's too much manipulation because by having a break we are trying to enjoy our hair like try to let our hair out you need to also make sure you're protecting it so doing it back in that braid out or twist out is one other way that you can get the most out of your hair without it breaking off also i forgot to mention for your slip backs if you're doing a slip back and i mentioned how to position your hair and how to get the perfect slip back but i forgot to talk about your ends because they are very very they are very very important the reason why you're able to retain length is because you you take care of your ends if your ends break off eventually your hair is going to get shorter or you notice stagnant growth so when you're doing your slip bags try to braid your ends or twist your ends out i usually do a twist because i just like my hair in a twist better so when i do a twist up a twist either i leave the twist like that because i do chunky twist or i eventually just wrap it around my hair and just keep it in a secure bun this way you're protecting your ends your ends are tucked in because um if your hair is out like your hair is out for that period of time you can easily just lose like see a lot of breakage this is one way to reduce breakage when your hair is in when your hair is out yeah basically that's one way to get your like retain your length and not get your hair like break your hair during that period when you're doing your twist out and your braid out that's when you can do the most to your hair you can try out so much hair out you can do a half up half down you can do two ponytails you can do whatever you want like put a lot of hairstyles on the screen that you can try out when your hair is in a twist out or braid out or slip backs those are like my go-to type of hairstyles which do not require so much tension and manipulation that's one thing and also try to stick to one hairstyle for that particular time because you don't want your hair um cause because anytime you're detangling or anytime you're manipulating your hair trust me your hair is breaking in some way so try to reduce that manipulation and also try to reduce switching up the hairstyle like for instance if i'm taking a break from doing a protective hairstyle and i'm trying to like put my hair in cute hairstyles i stick to one hairstyle i do not do multiple hairstyles for that few weeks like at most two weeks my hair is always out during that two weeks i stick to one hairstyle and i'm doing slip back i'm dedicated to slip back i'm not doing any other thing because i do not want to over manipulate my hair and put gel like if i'm put, especially if i'm using gel or like i'm using oil that means i have to reapply that's a lot of product to build up that's a lot of things if you really if you understand what i'm saying we we'll just try to stick to one particular hairstyle like for instance if i'm doing braid out or um twist out i make sure that if my hair is down for a couple of weeks like if my hair is down for the first week i can either put it in a high puff i do not want to use combs like to try and do a pattern i just make sure the way my hair felt like it's falling i do hairstyles um according to how my hair is falling down i don't know if you understand i really hope you understand what i'm trying to explain because like just try to reduce manipulating and detangling your hair because anytime you're manipulating your hair or detangling your hair your hair is breaking in some way and you're losing hair in some way so just try to reduce that that's why we do protective hairstyles to reduce the manipulation to see more length okay so now we're done with those um, alternative protective hairstyles that do not require extensions i have so many other videos on my channel trying out 
um, different protective hairstyles that I do not use extensions on my hair so they are just protective hairstyles that are um, natural hair friendly and just mainly your natural hair and I have also like cute ones that I did like with a little bit of extensions but not on my natural hair just like curly leave outs I'll have that video linked so that you can check it out and yeah so I'm just going to give you my top three tips that I use to basically grow my hair up to the length that it is at now and that has really helped me so that you can find this useful in your natural hair journey or if you're looking to start out your natural hair or just ways to prevent breakage to your hair first thing I'm going to talk about is reducing manipulation that's the whole point of this video while talking about alternative protective hairstyles without extensions we reducing manipulation on your hair is one way you can see a lot of length to your natural hair the reason why people the term protective hairstyle is like you protecting your hair so if the protective hairstyles that you're doing is causes a lot of tension you see a lot of breakage it has um it's very high tension it has so many so much manipulation to put in that protective hairstyle and a lot of manipulation to take it down that protective hairstyle is not for you that's the reason why i stopped doing extensions on my hair because i have fine hair strands so putting extensions way down my hair and which can cause my hair to break a lot and i've seen that my hair has been at a stagnant growth for so long and also the health overall health of my hair started degrading that's why i recommend you knowing a very good protective hairstyle and one way you can know this is by knowing what type of hair you have whether you have hair strands or you have thick hair strands you need to know that so that you can pick good protective hairstyles for your particular hair that's one thing you should do so try and reduce the manipulation as well as with detangling with changing of hairstyles like like me before every three weeks i'm on a new hairstyle but now i keep my hairstyles for three months that is crazy i never thought that i would keep them for longer periods like for instance i'm currently on a challenge i do a protective hairstyle challenge on my channel where i keep my protective hairstyles for longer periods and i show you how i take care of them and how i'm able to maintain that protective hairstyle because you need to be able to maintain it also for it for you to see get the result that you want so i share how i maintain it i just shared the journey like the progress throughout on my channel and also the growth i got and how i'm able to retain the length i got from that long-term protective hairstyle so keeping your protective hairstyles longer can help to reduce manipulation which eventually leads to you having preventing breakage to your hair what i'm going to talk about is moisture routine like this is very important that's why these are my top tips this is very very important guys your moisture routine is very important for you especially if you have a natural hair if you have hair in general moisture routine is very important because natural hair thrives on moisture and you need to have that balance that moisture balance to your hair because dry hair breaks dry hair you get split ends your hair will break off eventually because they are constantly dry so loc should be your friend that is liquid cream oil or liquid oil and cream loc lco method this is the method i use to lock in moisture for longer periods to my hair so you can do more research i have a lot of videos on my moisture routine i'm going to link that for you to check out but your moisture routine is very very important in reducing breakage to your hair so the last thing i'm going to talk about is treatment so so most of the times you're you can be doing so many things to your hair and doing a lot can also not be good so i'm going to share with you like few treatments that i do to my hair that work well for my hair starting out on my natural hair i didn't know what treatments to try out so i noticed that my hair was breaking a lot so if your hair is breaking a lot or your hair feels um doesn't feel healthy it just feels dry it feels um very brittle like it's breaking a lot you probably need a protein treatment so protein treatment helps to strengthen your hair and improve the overall health on your hair if your elasticity is lacking if your hair is feeling dull you need that shine protein treatment hot oil treatment also helps with like your hair being shiny and it helps to like remove your hair like if your hair is dull it helps your hair to be shiny reduce the frizz and your hair looks good that's one thing for hot oil treatment i also have a I have a whole video on treatments that you can try out so i'm going to link that down so but i'm just going to list a few of them that i use mostly like protein treatment but there's always protein treatment hot oil treatment deep conditioning and my herbal oils those are like my four 
treatments that I constantly do. So they also need to find a balance between these things because like I mentioned, treatments, hair treatments, they are treatments. So if your hair no, doesn't need it, don't do it because there's always something like overdoing it which can also lead to your hair being damaged. So yeah that's all i have for this video let me know if this video was helpful let me know what hairstyles you're going to be trying out and also you preventing breakage on your hair let me know if these tips were really helpful because i have so much more detailed video i just wanted to put this into this video so that you can also know about this and why protective hairstyles are important even if you don't like them they are important and you can also do um cute hairstyles in between your long-term protective hairstyles to see more length to your hair and also to get a healthy and longer hair so yeah that's all for this video let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to subscribe guys and if you're new here and you want to join in my three month hair challenge you're you're never late you can always join in on this you can join in by subscribing so that you get updated on every single information about the challenge and how it's currently going we're currently on our almost two months yeah almost two months maybe when this video goes up will be two months but yeah we're almost there and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one and love you guys Bye.